How's it going folks? It is I, Napalm. Thank you guys again for watching the video. If you could be so kind as to leave a like, comment if you're new to the channel, and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos that I post, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, thanks again for watching you guys. Enjoy! Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah! Hey, or maybe it was the president, about my idea to do daylight savings time in five-minute increments. Oh, I feel so all alone, because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it, for the good of society. You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on! Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect! I'll take two. 
Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. I think I've seen this. Separate your bliss. There sure are a lot of commercials on this channel. Separate your bliss. There sure are a lot of commercials on this channel. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam! Put it back! There, that fixed it. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. No dice. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! No comment. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Ah uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed! Aha! Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Max, you ever hear of the term tough love? It's the only kind of love I know! He does look a little like a bowling pin, doesn't he? Tempting sometimes, but I've become fond of the little guy. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products! Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese! Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Nah. Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there! I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. 
We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was the commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. We should probably get down to the corner store one of these days, like the commissioner said. What are we waiting for? A sale? Sometimes the wheels of justice turn slowly, little buddy. It feels good to be back in the old saddle, doesn't it? You've been watching too many John Ford movies again. Let's go beat up some thugs. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? So balmy and sulfurous, it makes me want to feed expired food products to stray animals and homeless people. Head like a watermelon and a heart to match. That's my pal. Do you remember when they filmed Corkscrew Psychopath 3 here? That was a film? Boy, that explains a lot. I think I stepped in part of the city. Hopefully it was one of the parts that was dead already. Let's get cracking. Yeah! Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry!
Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. <sighs> you made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way! Never saw that walker coming. Well, that's nice. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! It's Brady Culture! He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Is this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No! Where? <laughs> just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Whee! Hey, Specs. Let's talk some more about your, uh, artwork. What about it? Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to- Sorry. Hey, Specs. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this, but thanks anyway. Um... Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Let's get cracking.
Yeah! Hey, a can of spray paint. And it's not even empty. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts! Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Takes me back to my childhood. Hmm. Whee! Caffeine rush. Sweet carbonated beverages and a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A Munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Whizzer! He's a former child star? Ho oh, ho, just lock him up and throw away the jail! One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself! How can I be calm with the Munchkin terrorists in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Whizzer's? Malfeasance. He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It, it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray. Stop Delta right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way! I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will! At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop Small Bladder Boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All right, a rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. What does that B-Tads thingamabobber do again? Bosco Tech Automated Defense System? Try to steal something and find out. I'm sorry, what was your problem again? 
My problem is the police on my case have apparently been attacked by brain-stealing aliens. <laughs> you have been attacked by brain-stealing aliens, haven't you? No, no. Only yanking your chain, compadre. Wizard, dumping videos, taking nothing but leaks. Got it. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true! It really is inconvenient! Well, thanks. I try. How do you get out of that cage, anyway? Uh, that's for me to know and you never to find out. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. What were we talking about? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. What have you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. What have you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that! Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were gonna say, but that's good too. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Oh, were you serious about that? It's a bargain. Trust me. Trust me. I never trust a man that says trust me twice. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist, and quick! We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Nothing for us right now. Okay. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! What should we do about Wizard and his reverse shoplifting? Unwashed violence is one of my favorite techniques. Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. Do you smell something funny? Like the feet of the Howling Damned? There's a leaky can of aerosol meat in one of the aisles. Aha! I thought I recognized the scent. Be careful not to set fire to anything while we're here. No promises! I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. You okay, Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. 
Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already! Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it, because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! What do we have here? Organ trader? Self-loading weekly? Oh, let me see that! No thanks, I brought my lunch today. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Let me show you something. Don't come any closer. Let me show you something. Don't come any closer. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good! I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs! Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh right, sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment. And ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you... No, we don't have to. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh yeah, we've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? 
Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song! What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks! But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Come on, sing the Soda Popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends! No. Are you sure you won't sing the Soda Popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Pretty please. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Ugly please. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. I promise not to sing along. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. No. Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! Used toilet brush. I'll pass. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff as vaguely referred to on TV. Hey! That's my box! Oh, my mistake. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. Caffeine rush! Wow, look at him go. That is one fast munchkin. Oh, gee, guys. Why'd you gotta go and do that? Just passing the time. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh-oh. Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. The kid's pretty fast. I don't know if we can arrest him by conventional means. Can we still be mean if we're unconventional? Absolutely, Max. I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Special on cheese. Only one piece left. 
You can never have too much cheese. Not ever. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. What? Oh! Ooh. Did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention, shoppers. The cheese ain't free. Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Let's just return the cheese to its table. Okay. <laughs> I got a copy of the video by the guy you're painting on the walls. You should watch it. I did. It made everything better. On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper, who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Speck's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co-workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! Made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. Who could ever forget Wizard and his hilarious bathroom breaks? His time out for number one adorned lunchboxes all over the nation for the better part of the 70s. Behind the scenes, though, Wizard's bladder problems were no laughing matter. The writers learned early on never to give Wizard the only existing copy of the script. On the set, they even had a term for a script that needed to be redone. It's been whizzed. Oh, that Wizard! He just charred my little pants off from day one. You don't even wear pants. Sure, not anymore. For years after the soda poppers went off the air, Wizard desperately fought his addiction to designer bottled water a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all over the floor, most of the tablecloth, and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. Coming up next, the soda popper known for a really big part of his anatomy. Audiences all over the world fell in love with Peepers and his cute big eyes. On the set, though, Peepers was not quite so beloved. While his high-pitched voice was a hit with audiences, it reportedly drove a number of his co-workers to alcoholism. Eventually, the show's director stopped bringing Peepers back in to loop missing dialogue, 
getting the needed lines simply by scraping his fingernails over a chalkboard. I never noticed the difference. Even after the show left the airwaves, Peeper's I Can See You warmed the hearts of all who heard it. All that is, except apparently the students of Our Lady of Butter Toast Girls School. Peeper's tenure as the gym teacher for the prestigious Catholic school came to an abrupt end when his familiar catchphrase was taken the wrong way in the girls' locker room. And coming up next, the child star who never was. Few, if any, remember the show that the soda poppers replaced. Culture's Clubhouse, hailed as television for the sophisticated 6 to 8 year old, fell victim to the soda popper juggernaut and was quickly scrapped. Its young star, Brady Culture, struggled to find work and acceptance in the wake of the show's cancellation. Unable to find another role, Brady dabbled in every religion, creed, and belief system he could find. Buddhism, Judaism, Pointillism, Scientology, Horsematology, Nerfmatology, Prismatology, and even Stinkmatology. But what ultimately became of Brady Culture? No one knows. Brady Culture's being lifted from obscurity by his former rivals? I think this qualifies as a baffling mystery, Sam. You may be right. Coming up next, we'll repeat everything you've just heard. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers! They're like golf carts with teeth! Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly! Good times. The Crosstown Limited. Of course, it doesn't stop anywhere near here. Look, Max. Liver and onions are in town. I know! I can't wait! I love when they throw expired meat products at the crowd! Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories! Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you... Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! 
Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Right. How about a little analysis? Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too! Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! Who's this Lady Culture person? Brady! Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all! It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore! I'm so disillusioned! What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. Enough said. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal, but you might want to try Brady Culture's Ibo video. It's very soothing compared to regular television. Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, it is! It is! Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. I think I'm hallucinating, because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How odd! Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's Ibo video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. I'm beginning to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Well, you have to go with what works. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. It's not me, it's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! See? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's Ibo video for this situation. Good eye health helps combat delusions. I'm a rabbit! Is that your solution to everything? It's not mine, it's Brady Culture's! But it may very well be the solution to everything, yes. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Nice Whee! sign. Impressive credentials. Thank you! That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful! A surefire hit with the average consumer. Skin art. Is that art for skin, or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. Ah, the Tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Hello? Is anybody there? Can I play with that? Ah, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's Ibo video is better! That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same can be said for a lot of our friends. Ah, 
I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. I can see you! Please stop doing that! Whee! That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? Interesting place. It seems familiar. I think I may have come in to get a tattoo of Best Truman once when I was drunk. You don't have a tattoo. Maybe they used white ink. Do you hear a thumping sound? Probably just rats. Yeah, really big rats, locked in a closet. This guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then! Thanks, you're a big help. Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. Be careful not to break anyone while we're here. No promises. I wish I had my banjo right now. And I wish I had a five-gallon tub of orange marshmallow peanuts. That could be dangerous. Yours, too. Let's look around. Great idea. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil Pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference, or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job, although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Hey, Sybil. Hello! Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? My head is leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed to say I forgot what you told us to do. Just knock this guy unconscious. Hit him over the head or something. I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours lurking around the neighborhood. Well, see if you can knock them unconscious as well. Oh boy! More gratuitous violence! What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after that. It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo for free. 
You could put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. For the last time, no. The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. What would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychoses? Tell you what, I'll give you a free session if you'll take care of this nut job for me. I heard that! I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility! Quickly! Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. Don't shoot! I'm a therapist! Just kidding. Do you like boxing? Not really, no. Do you like bowling? Only in theory. She's colorful enough as it is. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me! Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once! If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Let's look around. Great idea! Where we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Attention fellow drivers! If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! People of Earth, we come in peace! Just kidding. Prepare to die! Can I get a whoop whoop? You're all under arrest! If you elect me as mayor, I hereby promise free money to everyone! <laughs> Sorry, swallowed a fly. <laughs> She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, when she comes. Attention fellow drivers, if for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! Hey, you front-ended us! This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die! Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not! Ergo, we call the shots around here! Oh, why did you stop me? According to our homemade radar gun, you were just exceeding the speed of light. That's not physically possible. Oh, would you like me to demonstrate what's physically possible? Well, considering you didn't actually commit the crime we're accusing you of, I suppose we'll just let you off of the warning this time. Hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know! What's the problem? Stop committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates! Greetings, Anonymous Motorist. 
If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? You were swerving all over the road like a drunken roller skater on wet ice. That was you. Oh, yeah. We'll ticket ourselves later. For now, we have more innocent victims to pull over. Ta-ta. Pull over! Don't worry, we just want to talk. <laughs> Hello, sir, or madam. You're in big trouble, mister, or miss. For what? Your taillight's busted. No, it isn't. Well, maybe it should be. Mental note. Try to pull over suspects who are actually guilty of something. Pull over! This is not a test! This is an actual emergency! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No, why? Really? I was hoping you'd know. Seriously, why? We're not charging you with anything, we just wanted to say hello. Hello! Well, bye. Bye! Pull to the left! Pull to the right! Pull anywhere you want! Just fight, fight, fight! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No, why? Yeah, why? I'm sorry, I mistook you for a ferret. And as you know, ferrets are not permitted to drive in this state. But I'm not a ferret! Well, that's what it looks like from here. Come on, Max. Let's go find some other unsuspecting driver to accuse of made-up crimes. Gentlemen, stop your engines! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No. Why? We're locking you up for worshipping false idols. What are you talking about? I never worshipped any idols. Yeah, tell it to the judge. Actually, why don't we show some uncharacteristic mercy and find someone else to pull over? Stop driving! Now! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No, why? We're booking you, sorry hide, for indecent exposure. What are you talking about? I'm fully clothed. Except your face. Get a veil, please. Let's go, Max. Having that face is punishment enough. Pull over! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No. Why? Give us one good reason why we shouldn't arrest you right now. Because I didn't break any laws? You're gonna have to do a little better than that. Oh, <laughs> Max. Come on, let's go. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam 1, taillight 0. Pull over! Hello. Know why we stopped you? No, why? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it! Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Oh, uh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <laughs> my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker!
What are we gonna do with all this money, Max? Let's get our very own tear gas grenade launcher! This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, Brain Freeze! My bowling ball has Lou engraved on it. A boxing glove is just the thing for violence on a crisp evening. I never travel without my trusty firearm. It's not just spray paint, it's an opportunity. Ten grand. I'm rich. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha. Uh, it's still not quite right. Mwahahaha. Uh. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. You'll be out for a good while. No sense kicking a man when he's down. Since when? Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. I have nothing to say about that. We got your tear gas money right here! Really? Well, Alright, here you go! One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works! Trust me! Trust me! Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? The 10000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Boy, the security system in here is something else. I'll say. I'm glad I don't have pockets. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Ooh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! This tear gas grenade launcher is just a salad shooter and some pureed onions. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Ooh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it! What the?! Time out for number one! We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> Classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... Uh... 
I don't want to wake him up. Whee! Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinthine scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it! Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Hmm. fun hey you're fogging my glasses quit it oh Sybil yes uh, the other Sybil what is that don't worry this won't hurt a bit <laughs> but it will make you cry <laughs> Please, Sam, allow me! Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, Peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins! The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me! Rue the day, I say! <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control! What? Hey! What am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil! It's Peepers! Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream! And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can't fix. Oh, dear! Let's look around. Great idea! Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that. Wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm, security. Max might like a tattoo. Ooh, yeah! I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Can you fix cars? 
Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office. But this time, things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Mmm, Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? I take pleasure in moving others! It was a garish tattoo. Wow! Wow, that is so deep. In other words, you don't know what it means. No. It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. There was nothing on it, actually. Oh, nothing to shoot for, huh? I see, I see. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was in it? There was a grubby little rat floating in there. You subconsciously find rats refreshing? Well, I guess that explains why you moved into this neighborhood. It was a massive, death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. It was a crisp new copy of Self-Loathing Weekly. Oh, that is refreshing. I never miss an issue. Actually, it was empty. Hmm, nothing to refresh you, huh? Interesting. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my, Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Needles. It was a cactus. Hmm, your sustenance is needles. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? Yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? A hefty sack of cash was in full flower. Oh, you think money grows on trees? You're dreaming. It was a can of some unknown carbonated beverage. Uh, I think you need a dietitian, not a therapist. The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married, hmm? It was a fruit cake. A fruit cake, hmm. The fruit cake uh, commemorates the day when your loved ones finally cart you off to the funny farm. Then you can be sure to expect a fruit cake from me, lady. It was a cheesecake, and I mean literally a piece of cheese in a cake. What does that represent? No, oh, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random nonsense. 
Nothing unusual there. Nothing unusual there. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady! In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do-da, do-da. But that's not unusual. It was Bosco, from the Inconvenience Store. Ah, yes. You go to him when you need things. Yes, he represents your father. Bosco's my daddy? Uh, symbolically, yes. Literally, I sure hope not. In your dream, was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car! Yes, that's just what I expected. It was you! Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother! You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's gotta be in there somewhere. That's Psychotherapy 101. Insightful! Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything... queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your mother. I was right! As I usually am. It was me! You? Hmm... I think you... represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh sure, any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. Hi Sam, how are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was a poor little fish, gasping for air and yet totally unharmed, in case you're a member of an animal cruelty organization. Hmm, a fish out of water. Perhaps you're bothered by feelings that you don't belong. Maybe so. But trust me, Sam, you belong in therapy. It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well... It was a hot weenie of indeterminate maturity. A weenie in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism there. Actually, there was nothing in the rat hole. Well, nothing bothers you. It's always good when you're not smart enough to know you should be bothered. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud! A whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. Don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls, and by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. A parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. As a matter of fact, the closet was bare. Totally shameless, then. Can't say I'm surprised. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or... Uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. 
And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one, what do you see? The exhaust manifold of a bread truck. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. You seem fairly focused on money, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Now try this one. Crown. I feel strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Comb. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your reactions indicate that you're a generally violent person. I'm disturbed to hear that. Me too! I've always thought of you as a specifically violent person. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Let's look around. Great idea! <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! What? What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227-something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Hello. I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away! Stop! We just want to talk! Really? Oh. Give it up, Topper! We oh. got you surrounded! Stop your vehicle ah. now or we'll stop it for you! Does anyone see the newscopter yet? Stop! We just want to talk! Really? Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. 
Got him. Yes! Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Not much of a secret, is it? Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Whee! This one's very locked. Hmm, it says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Hmm, it says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. I wonder if I should take this to a professional. Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. Trust me, I have experience with these things. Hmm. The black hole. What's a black hole, Sam? It's a star that's been crushed under its own weight, destined to desolate darkness for all eternity. Now treating artificial personality disorder. The power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Locked. What do we do? I recommend we find a qualified professional to fill out that form and sign it. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? An autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one?
that blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Word to the wise, never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses, possible organic malaise fixation. How about this word? Drill. I feel strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Relax. Who says I'm not relaxed? Oh, right. We're freely associating. Sorry. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay, tell me what happened. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married, hmm? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was you. Well, clearly I represent your mother. Wait a second. Wedding cake, your mother... You subconsciously want to marry your own mother! Well, this is a blow. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. The form only fits in the slot at Brady Culture's home. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Is it hard to become a psychotherapist? Oh, yes. It takes weeks. For some people, it's harder not to become one. Bless your overgrown cassava melon, Max. Nice decor you've got in here. Very death metal suburban lounge kitsch postmodern professional. Well, you know, last week this was a tattoo parlor, and before that I was a taxidermy priestess. When I'm gone, I'm hoping to be taxidermied and used as a hat rack. You'll do that for me, won't you, Sam? Of course, little buddy. Friendship is a wonderful gift. Hold all my calls. Sounds like you've jogged around several blocks, career-wise. True. I was even a telemarketer for a while. What did you sell? Telephones. But sometimes a brilliant idea just isn't enough. What other unsavory gems are lurking in your sack full of former careers? I was a cook at a restaurant called Ode O. Very strict vegan. We only served water. That's it? Well, you could get it cold or hot. Staggering. I liked that job, but I got laid off when the thermo-vegetarians picketed the restaurant and insisted they only serve the water at room temperature. Typical. I can't stand thermo-vegetarians. Have you had any other fascinating occupations we could snicker about? I was a grout specialist. <laughs> What? 
I don't know, there's just something inherently funny about grout. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I used to be a microfiche delivery driver. What a coincidence! You too? What? No, I was just thinking about how my feet are exactly the same size as each other. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I painted white walls on cheap tires for a while. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I ran a business doing custom embossing on the bottoms of pie tins. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I was a door-to-door -door phlebotomist. That sounds dirty, even though it probably isn't. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? Dozens. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? Dozens. Talk at you later, Doc. Interesting choice of words. Whee! Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Polkratude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume? You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no, those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy! I told you! But then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver... Mickey Rooney? Videos... <laughs> I must deliver videos... I must deliver videos. Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. 
I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. Oh, don't even try. I love that part. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become... Video Delivery Man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. It's just a dream, Sam. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car! Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer! Ooh, just let me at him! It's Brady culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> it's Brady culture on TV. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch I can't scratch. Weird. Strange. Enigmatic. I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to Cable, for all eternity. I will be universally loved by everyone in the universe. Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? You want to name every single one of your children after me. Dance, puppet, dance. I love my hair, and you do too. I will have legions of sickening breakfast cereals named after me. I am Brady Culture, and you are not. Get used to it. It's Brady Culture made of cheese? Uh, uh, uh! Brady! Brady! Why yes, this is my real hair. Brady Culture. Nice name for a country, don't you think? Brady Culture is the man of your dreams. What is this thing?
sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Women want me. Men want to want me. <laughs> hey, I'm getting pretty good at that. It's Brady culture made of cheese. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I will have a space station. Hey, Brady cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No! The cheese must stand alone! No! And another one bites the cheese. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. I wish I knew why I was carrying around the coat hanger off our TV. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! <laughs> hey, Max! Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! Oh, my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Oh, uh. Oh, no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm... I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. Ibo man. <laughs> Stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams? Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something. Quick! Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud! Doc, Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. 
It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course, but you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. No time to talk. I've got to rescue Max. There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. Max isn't going to like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Hey, Bosco. You okay? Yep. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. This helmet will protect me from culture's hypno-gizmo, I hope. Take a look at this. Get that away from me. Hey, Bosco. I built you a hypnosis blocker and now you aren't even gonna use it? All right, I've got to save Max. Thanks, Bosco. And people say I'm crazy. I'm coming, Max! That won't help me rescue Max. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... <laughs> what? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. <laughs> Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ouch! You okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. Nice hat, by the way. It protects me from that ray of his. Speaking of which, I don't see you delivering videotapes. Yeah, apparently I can't be hypnotized. It was driving the Phantom here, Berserk. 
There's got to be something wrong with his brain. Well, that goes without saying. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy right now. You may as well give up now, Culture. Your hypnotic ray thingamadoodle won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut up! They do so! I forced them to. You should surrender. I've got the place surrounded. Liar, liar, pants on fire! It's not too late to give up and come along peacefully. I'm rubber, you're glue. Bounce off me and stick to you. You may as well give up now, Culture. True. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut up! Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. It's a stack of those Ibo videos. Attack Brady Culture. No! Attack the dog! Ah. Attack me. Whoops. Ah. Attack the dog! Ow! That doesn't need another coat. That doesn't need another coat. Attack yourselves! Dolts! Attack the dog! Ouch! Attack the videotapes! Buffoons! Attack the dog! Ow! Become Brady Culture! <laughs> Do my evil bidding! Worship! Tapes. What nonsense! Attack the dog! <laughs> Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness! Attack the dog! Ah. Become yourselves. Uh -oh. Oops. Attack the dog! <laughs> Become videotapes. Black wits. Attack the dog! <laughs> Worship Brady culture. <laughs> Worship yourselves! Boneheads, attack the dog! Ouch! Worship the videotapes! Imbeciles, attack the dog! <laughs> Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. Oops, no, wait, I mean. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam. Ooh. You played him ooh. like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason.
the tiny gizzards, so they found in special birds. Little beaver snakes and lizards, till an episode of words. Cause a little tiny gizzards, so they found in special birds. Then they run like a human blizzard, warm as civil soda jerks. Little beaver snakes and lizards, so the poppers more than you.